how are we all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ellie and I run this page Fenland Interiors, where it's basically what it says on the tin, everything interior design related is over on here. So today I'm actually bringing you an Easter haul. I know you might think it's early, but actually Easter's only five weeks away, which is actually crazy because I swear Christmas was like literally last week. But anyway, I am bringing you an Easter haul. Now, I'm not bringing you my usual kind of wild collection of Easter finds. I'm actually bringing you a neutral haul. Reason being is because, as you can tell from the background, I've kind of gone into this really neutral vibe. And I'm 100% here for it. It's the new me the past probably year. And I've really mellowed. I don't buy crazy things anymore. I know. However, I have bought the odd thing because I can't help myself because I love a bit of like, I don't know, something, something that just makes me go, oh, isn't that cute? So I have bought a few of them pieces, but the majority of it is actually from H&M and the White Company, which as we know already are already quite neutral based um, interior brands anyway. Um, but I also find as well, a lot of people don't celebrate or decorate for Easter. <laughs> who are you folk because you are crazy literally easter is going to be celebrated in a few years like more than we ever can believe because it's coming over from like america and i am here for it because i think we should celebrate every day let alone every season so if you don't celebrate easter or decorate for it sort it out so without further ado i'm going to show you the most insanely beautiful neutral pieces that you can just literally insert into your home because i do find that literally you can just put a few little like cheeky elements into your home interior like look at this space behind me i could literally swap things out for easter which i'm going to do this lamp's gonna go i'm gonna put a little white easter tree there with all my neutral bits on and they're probably gonna go i've got like a bunny that i'm gonna spray just see what i mean it's just the small things and yet i still do have the senior christmas prints up why are you judging me? Why? So if I end up getting some from Desenio, I will let you know. But anyway, enough of me gibber and jabbering about. Let's just get on with the haul, shall we? So as I said, I did buy a few colourful decorations for Easter. It's not crazy. It's just it's just literally like two things or two groups of things. Um, so the first thing is from um, the range. I went there the other day and I was thinking, oh, I bet they'll have some neutral bits. There was literally no neutral bits, so I'm just giving you all a heads up. But if your range does have neutral bits, then holler at me. But I haven't even seen any on TikTok or nothing. But I've seen these and I was like, no, these are the cutest things ever. So they are literally gonk picks. I've literally just threw them off. But how cute are they? They were literally, I think, a pound each. This is a little pink one. How cute. And then little tealy green coloured one. Also gorge. And then a lemon one. But I absolutely love them. They are gorgeous. Aren't they cute? I think they're great for the kids. I think they're great if you make an Easter eat. I think they're just... I just love everything about them. And I'm thinking of doing like a bit of a colourful Easter display. Like obviously I did a colourful table last year. I'll enter to pick here. But I'm going to go more neutral this year. But I'm still going to do a few DIYs regarding colour. Um, the only reason I'm going neutral is because it like this just doesn't match my studio, does it? So yeah, but I just couldn't pass them by. Three pounds for all them. Unreal. And the second thing that I bought as well from the range, and actually the last thing, is this DIY button. Now, bear with me because you're going to say why she bought that. It was a pound. So, I don't like the colours of them at all. They're not, like, they're not a bit of me. But how cute are them bunny tails and you get string. Now, obviously, when, when I said before, I'm going to be getting an Easter tree here. I've already got it. It's just like one of them white ones from Hobbycraft. I'll link it below. Um, but I'm really struggling to find neutral decorations for it, apart from the ones I've already got. But it needs a bit of, it just needs a bit of zhuzh, do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, I've got like literally like samples of like Faro and Ball, like neutral paint that I've just got left there. So I'm just going to paint them, literally in all different like neutral colours, and then hang them off, obviously, the ears there onto the tree. Literally the cheapest, quickest, easiest DIY. And I think they'll look dead cute on the tree. So, yeah, that's why I bought them. If everyone's thinking, Ellie, why have you bought them? That is why. Yeah, that's the only, like, colourful bits I've got. The rest is from H&M and the White Company and is very neutral. Oh, my God, no. And HomeSense. <gasps> I literally forgot. I've got bits from HomeSense as well that I got the other day. Right, let me just go and get them one sec. No, I actually completely forgot that I bought some from HomeSense. Literally did a HomeSense shop the other day and put at the end of last my last video that I had Easter bits from HomeSense. So... How have I forgot? I don't know. But anyway, 
The first shop that I'm going to do is The White Company. So I've actually already sort of opened these only because I got like a few like hand soaps and things like that. So they are already open. So this isn't like a surprise for me, but the other bits might be. Um, so the first thing is these gorge little rabbit Easter egg, Easter egg, egg cozies. How unreal are they? So they're like proper knitted and they've got a little bunny tail on the back. I actually thought they were £10 for one. Um, but it was actually £10 for two, so I feel like less bad about buying them now. Um, but I just think they're so adorable. If you've got like an Easter table, you know, if you're doing an Easter breakfast with the kids, I think it's gorgeous. And they just look so, so cute. And as well, like if you're an interior stylist, because I know a lot of people like that do follow me, um, they're great as well if you're doing shoots and things like that. They're perfect for something like that. And they're just really, really they're just really cute. And they smell like, you know, like fresh, like when someone's like knitting, like when they're sitting next to you. Like, it just reminds me of that. It's really cute. Then I've got, so I've actually got four of these, um, these jute bunny decorations as well. So obviously, as I said before, I'm actually doing an Easter tree, not a full on like Christmas tree Easter tree, just like the little mini ones. I will link it below, it's from Hobbycraft. Um, yeah, so I decided to get these. I think they're so cute. And again, I don't know whether the white company make it clear how many you're getting because it says one. So I thought, oh, I'm getting one for £12. But I actually got two, so they were £6 each. So, I mean, to be fair, it was £24 for four decorations, which is a bit compared to the pound ones that I've just showed you. I get it, and you could do it yourself. By the time I've actually bought the resources to make these, I may as well have just bought them, do you know what I mean? And I think they'll be such a cute asset. Like, if you can see the vibe of the studio behind me, like, and they not a vibe. They've got full-on wired ears. Like, am I going to be sitting there for four hours making wired ears? Like, most probably not. Like, they seem really, like, durable. And they're quite bendy. Oh, they bend as well, so you can actually, like, mould them into, like, whatever you want. So... To be honest, I think it's a bargain. Next, I'm going to do the shop I forgot about. Me baby, Home Sense. Um, so I got, first off, I got this gonk. If you did watch my actual Easter tour around Home Sense, I'll link it here. If not, you will have seen that I spotted him. And he actually lights up, I know. He was a father. Um, I don't know how I feel about this now that I've got him home, though. I feel like it reminds me of something like, you know, from like Hobbycraft, where like, um, a little one I'd like paint it I feel like I thought at first it looked quite like aesthetically pleasing and like not as childish as I wanted it to look and now I'm thinking does it look a bit kiddy because I do like gonks but I'm just not sure and then I'm thinking do I spray it black or like maybe like a beige brown I don't know but I'm torn it might go back but it is cute and it was really a fiver and it lights up but just in case you take it back I don't want to take that out because it activates it doesn't it do you know what I mean so see that i feel like now it lights up can you see the glow oh that might be cute that might have a nighttime aesthetic actually okay i'm torn let me know in the comments below whether i should keep it or not next i got this unreal easter egg now it's quite an iridescent um egg but i don't know if you can see properly because it's obviously got a very much a sheen on it but it says Easter, it's like engraved, well it's not engraved, it's like embossed on the top. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got like a bit of colour to it, but like very iridescent, which I really love about it. I don't like the fact that it's that, that. I actually see myself in it there, like that's just not a pretty sight. <laughs> um, but it was 7 99 but I really like it. I think it'd be nice like styled on here, see, it just blends with the theme. Can you see the aesthetic I'm going for? And then finally from Home Sense as well, I got these placemats. I could not walk away with these these are literally my aesthetic to a t so you get four placemats i think they were 12.99 yeah they were 12.99 um and then it's got a little embroidered bunny um ears on the corner which is gorgeous and then it's got like sort of the bobbly um edging as well which i love and the from tabitha webb never heard of that before um or oh, never seen that brand when i was working there but i absolutely love 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 this as i said last year i did a very colorful tablescape but i'm not gonna be doing that this year i'm gonna be going for more of this style um vibe so i am super excited and i realized as well and um, i did a haul an easter haul last year as well i like it if you just want to be nosy and watch it and i actually bought stuff because when i went back to work after lockdown 
a lot of the stuff went into the clearance and a lot of it was Easter. So I bought loads of stuff and I remember it vaguely. I'm thinking, where have I even put all this? Like, I, I remember I bought like a silver bunny that I wanted to spray and everything. I'm thinking, I need to find them. I genuinely don't know where I've put them. At least our fave H&M. I can't believe, by the way, the size of the box. I mean, I know they're like recycling and things like that, but I was a bit like a bit dramatic for the stuff I've bought. Um, but first off is this fabulous, so let me just open it, um, cushion cover. I don't know whether everyone's seen this floating about on Instagram, but as soon as I've seen it on H&M, I was like, <laughs> neat. So this is it. Oh my god, this is that. So it is the three bunny cushion cover, which was, I believe, I want to say... I want to say 19 made that price up because I don't actually have the sheet that I got. But how unreal is this? See, it's just little things like this that if you don't want to go OTT at Easter, you can just put little snippets of this like on your sofa, on your bed, literally just anything. I just love it. And as well, it's like a textured, like tufted um, rabbit on the top. And you know what? I'm seeing loads of this style cushion and I'm here for it. H&M started it, but now TK Maxx are kind of going that way as well. There's some unreal cushions on my latest tour um, and I found them online as well, actually. And they were absolutely stunning. I just love the texture. It just adds a different height and aesthetic to any space. It really does. It's gorge. I'm so excited for Easter now. Is anyone else watching this thinking, Easter's coming, another seasonal period. Do you know what makes me unhappy? The period between Easter and Christmas. There's no seasonality. What am I saying? Like, I know we've got Halloween, which I half do, and I decorate tiny bits, but, like, the need to, someone needs to invent something else. So, if anyone's got any ideas of what I can invent to bridge the gap, let me know. Now, these I haven't even opened, so it's a surprise for both you and me, hey? No use, I totally forgot I ordered this. Oh. oh my god, no. Do you know what? So, when I was shopping online, I thought this was going to be very yellow. How beige is that? A cream? I made up, I thought, from the images online. I'll put a picture in here. They look very yellow. I can tell you straight up, they're not yellow. They're like beige. I'm trying to put something next to it. I get it, it looks a bit... It's like creamy pampas colour. Can you see against that? I feel like you can see it better there. It's not yellow. It literally looks so yellow online. But look at that. I'm trying to see if it'll like zoom in somehow. There we are. It's not yellow, is it? <gasps> no, I made up. I feel like I should have bought more of them. This is going to be the H&M Christmas trees all over again. So basically I posted these white little mini Christmas trees and I did the H&M like Christmas haul. I literally posted them and they sold out and I was like, oh, I want to buy more. And I told you all that I wanted to buy more and I feel like you've done me over because you've all bought them. So Ellie will be buying another one of these so don't sell them all out. Thank you. How unreal. No, I'm obsessed with that, you know, use. I can't remember how much you are, but he's worth every penny. It's so hard to find little elements like this to add to your home for, like, an Easter neutral vibe. He's my fave so far, you know. Oh, gorge. Oh, gorge. They're even more amazing in real life. You knew what it was going to be, didn't you? The six Easter ornaments. Um, six pack. If I just come around the house, it's the six Easter egg ornaments six pack. Um, these are, oh my goodness, no, these are gorgeous. So, this is the brown, lovely, love the little swirl that it's just given us as well. Little cream fella, take him in, love that. And then this little sage green guy, he's a cute guy. They are gorgeous. So you get two of each colour and wow, I mean, want a neutral, here is neutral, how unreal are they? I am obsessed with these no use. I'm so excited to do this Easter tree. I feel like I'm more excited now because I'm doing sort of like neutral over when I was doing colour. Um, I actually bought two packs of these. So they are going to look insane. Um, yeah, I'm, I feel so excited to decorate for Easter because it's like just my vibe. Like, And especially I didn't have this studio. I did have the studio last year actually, but I didn't, it wasn't finished. There was literally no furniture in it. I think I was sitting on the floor or I might have even been sitting on the wooden floor. Um, I literally had no like 
decorating in here or nothing so like because i'm actually decorating it now for like seasonal periods it's boss and as well these remind me can't even shut the box these remind me of you know at christmas i bought the christmas trees and the um baubles made out of paper so if you ask me i'm actually doing my way for the environment this year because i'm buying paper decorations and also h&m is very sustainable with the cardboard packaging do you know what i mean i am going to be going to other shops um over the next few weeks to see if i can spot any gorgy bits and as well like with the likes of these which i showed you earlier i'm going to be on a hunt for stuff like that as well as i say they were only a pound and i can spray these to be in line with this sort of color scheme so i'm going to be on the hunt for some crafts and diys but i am also going to be doing a lot of easter styling as well which i'm excited to do so if you want to see that do let me know whether you want to see it over on here or on instagram but if you aren't already do make sure you follow me on instagram because i will be posting all of this unreal easter styling over on there as well and i'm going to be doing a lot of reels and things like that so if you're not already on my instagram do make sure you head over there as well it would mean a lot um, but yeah i'm super super made up with this haul i think you know what i'll leave that to later because clearly it's caused me a lot of stress about what i've picked up i think i've picked up quite a lot of pieces that i really love i might send i might take the um home send bits back i'm not sure yet but overall i'm so so happy and as i say as well a lot of the easter content will be over here and on my instagram and i'll be showing you as well just a little few tips where you can like just add them like neutral pieces into your home as well because i do think a lot of people struggle to actually put just like a few elements of seasonal wear into their home so yeah do make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any more easter content interior content style you name it it's all going to be on here so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will catch you on my next video